Hello and welcome to my little renovation project. Sounds like something I've just done, but no. I bought this house for 23,000 euros in 2017. And then just bought it as a little holiday home because it was so cheap and I've renovated it over the time. So this video is going to show you before and after pictures of everything that we did and then a video of each floor. At the very end, I will explain exactly what I did and why I did it. Okay, enjoy. The front terrace is owned by the council and it was originally quite sloped. I asked the mayor if it could be levelled and they offered to kindly do it for me and resurface it with a natural stone that I chose. The bathroom was originally downstairs in the kitchen so that was taken out and the boiler was also changed to a gas one and put into the kitchen. Sewage pipes were taken from the original bathroom up to the first floor to the new bathroom. The original bathroom had a window which I decided to leave and just fit glass bricks. Channels were made to put Wi-Fi and TV cables in the walls. Steel bars were embedded into the walls for additional support. Books for study in my permanent move to Spain. Julie, I'm still sorry that the house wasn't ready for you for this visit. <laughs> the stairs created a dark kitchen area and they were very low to walk underneath. It was a real quick decision to decide to knock the wall out and then whip the stairs out as well and put a new staircase in. Some real fun times were had doing this. Lots of interesting meals, washing food in the fountain and eating most meals at the bar or cooking food over the log fire. I don't think that even the worst of councils would have allowed us to put this beam up like this. But hey, we got the job done. <laughs> And now to the upstairs, which was originally two bedrooms. The second one here was split into two diagonally, thanks to the genius idea of the builder Miguel, to make it into one small mezzanine area and a bathroom. The area where Annie is stood is the shower, and then you can see the plumbing for the sink. Another genius idea of Miguel's, the sink unit is made out of the old kitchen door tiled with mosaic tiles and the legs are the old beams. The master bedroom is the one that had the least work but hey, what builder would give you towel swans on finishing the job? Shown as an office area here, this room had a single bed in on the pictures. The railings curve out slightly to give space for a bed to fit along the length of there because it was a little bit tight. I love the idea of this wardrobe. Curtains covering the clothes and 
the pole is really well supported as it goes into the wall at each end as well as having chain supports in the middle. You may notice that the bathroom window on one of the earlier pictures was different so that's been changed since then it was just shutters when the property was bought. I've just used trolleys to store my toiletries as a simple solution for storage. so far um, I, I must say excuse my face today because I was wild camping at the weekend and scratched it on the on the branch I won't tell you what I was doing in the bush to scratch it on the branch but I did as I got up <laughs> so this is where the bathroom was there was the shower the the toilet and the sink here with a huge ugly electric boiler in the bath in the tiny bathroom so change the boiler for a gas one because it was going to be visible in the kitchen so that's a lot smaller and neater the kitchen unit um, is just simple with concrete pillars and I've got curtain made, curtains made to put across most of the part of, of that. There's one, one section that doesn't have a curtain so it's easy to get plates and balls out and everything. The cave, um, the floor of the cave was relayed by the lovely Annie and Miguel who did the work and they collected the stones from the river and put them in the cave for me. So loving that, absolutely loving it. So let me take you through into the living area. Oh, I better tell you about the beams first. So the beams were originally wood. Some of them were sanded down and painted. A couple, unfortunately, did have to re be replaced for concrete. It's more practical, although not as aesthetically pleasing. So the living area, in fact, I just need to pop a cardigan on because it's quite chilly today. We, um, we did place, have to replace all of the beams in the living area for concrete ones. It did have a false ceiling in, so we hammered that out, as you'll have seen on the videos, and then checked the beams, and they were quite rotten, so we had to replace them all for concrete, unfortunately. You can actually buy like a cover, a false cover, to create a fake beam that looks like wood here in Spain. I've never got around to doing that, but um, it's something I would consider in another house, in a new, another refurbishment. I had all of the, with the front door and all of the windows replaced as well. They were quirky before, I liked the colour, it was like a kind of darkish mint, mint green and had them replaced for, I didn't really want to change the colour, it just kind of happened accidentally um, and they've ended up like a dark turquoise which I love anyway. So all of the windows in the house have changed and the front door. As you know the stairs were knocked out, you'll have seen that from the videos and because the, because the reason for that was the staircase, it made the whole area quite dark because there's a, there was a wall as well at the back of the stairs. The stairs are very low to walk under so you would bang your head now they're like a ladder and really steep, but that suited me better. I don't mind walking up a ladder style staircase at all, but I did mind banging my head as I was walking under it. And it also meant that we took out, when we moved, there was quite a steep step coming out of the bedroom where you'd walk out, step down onto the landing section, and then you'd step back up again to head into what is now the bathroom. So that was also levelled out as well. And then just the stair meant the, the downside was was that the stairs ended up a lot steeper. But I'm happy with that. If you can get up the hill to get to this house, you can get up the steep staircase to go to the loo. Right, so let's all get started. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Some pictures of the family visiting the house just to finish off. And as soon as I get started and on the way with my next uh, renovation project, I will let you know. Thanks again. Bye.